A local family accusing East Point police officers of using excessive force against teenagers as young as 13. Now police are responding saying video proves that's not what happened. Thanks for joining us here for the News at 6. I'm Kimberly Gill. I'm Devin Skillian. We first told you last week about the claims against East Point police by the family of three teenagers. They accused officers of spitting on the teens, calling them derogatory names, uh, and using excessive force. Now police want the public to see what officers' body cameras captured. Jacqueline Francis, live with the newest developments in the story. Jacqueline. Devin, this is the parking lot where it all went down. The director of public safety says he's watched the video 10 times, and he and other administrators have determined there was no use of excessive force. It comes as that local family is accusing the officers of assaulting their three teenagers. We now have that video to show you. There's always two sides to a story, and the body-worn cameras that the officers have are, are very, uh, they're priceless, basically. Director of Public Safety George Rohib is releasing the video. It happened last Thursday when officers responded to a fight in progress at a shopping plaza next to East Point High School. Rohib says there were roughly 50 kids loitering in the area. Officers repeatedly told them to leave. Three siblings, all teenagers, were among those left in the parking lot. Rohib walks us through the video and their interaction with officers. It was a 15-year-old student that went to the school. Uh, she was making um, statements that her father was going to blow the place up. We don't know what she meant by that and using derogatory comments toward the police. So they approached her. They were going to write her a citation for public nuisance or disorderly conduct. Officer, at which time she continued on walking. Come here. Come here. Come here. It's not, an a it's not me asking you. It's me telling you. Come here. What? What's you gonna do? She's going to get a ticket for what being disorderly. And the officer grabbed hold of her hood with his left hand and took hold of her arm. He guided her over to the police car. And as you can see in the video that she was laughing at the police as they put her in the police car gently. She was not forced in there. The kids said that they were waiting for their Uber. All three kids went to the hospital after, seen here in slings and a neck brace, telling us they were assaulted. I felt like hurt. The officers did what they had to do. They did not use excessive force. And some of these, actually all these allegations are false. Police say at no point were the other two siblings physically touched by officers. The juvenile prosecutor will now review the video and this case to determine if any charges are brought against the teens like disorderly conduct. Reporting live in East Point, Jacqueline Francis, Local 4. Something to watch there. All right, Jacqueline.